Now on Talking Solutions, a return guest, Esther Renke with the City of Las Vegas. We're going to talk about this year's Hell Dorado Days, which are coming up next weekend. It's coming fast and furious. Yeehaw! (laughs) I love it when you do that. (laughs) Yeehaw! I don't think a lot of people realize Nevada is the rodeo state. It is. We are. You're right. And a lot of people don't know that. They don't realize that we have Western history. And we have Hell Dorado Days for decades. What was it, the 1930s? Somewhere between 1934 and 1935 that Hell Dorado actually began in the city of Las Vegas. And it's stuck around all these years. We always talk about the movie with John Wayne. Yes. Hell Dorado. With one L. Yes. There's a reason it's two L's here in Las Vegas, you know. We're not afraid of it like other people might have been, especially back in the day. Yes. So Hell Dorado Days actually started in the 30s. It took a little time off, but it's back. Yes. And it's better than ever. Bigger and better. Esther, is it two days this year? Yes. We had a little bit of change this past year. The Plaza Hotel and Casino has actually built an outdoor rodeo arena. It's really cool. It's awesome because it's right outside of City Hall, so we can watch it every day and watch it grow. And this year, we are calling it the Las Vegas Days Rodeo at the Core Arena. It's a two-day rodeo, May 10th and May 11th. It starts 5 o'clock. And the really cool thing the Plaza is doing this year, they believe in the rodeo. They believe in keeping this event going. So they are offering it free to everybody. As long as you can come down and get a seat in the arena, you can come down and watch the rodeo free this year. Yes. Free? Free awesome. That's huge. Yeah, so they're going to have vendors and the rodeo, everything that we've had in the past just for two days this year, though, just because we are in another new venue, another new arena. So they want people to get used to that, come down, see the rodeo. And then, of course, on Saturday, May 11th, we have the Hell Dorado Days Parade. It's a big parade. It's a big parade. It's the best parade ever. Of course. Yes. You've had a lot to do with that for a <laughs> long time. I have been producing the parade since 2005. That's when we brought back Hell Dorado during the city centennial celebration. Right. Back then it was Oscar Goodman who said if we're celebrating our centennial, our hundred years, then we need to bring back the event that kept us going during all those years. So that was when the return of the parade came back. And then a couple of years later, we brought the rodeo back. The parade just continues to grow. We want everybody to come out and support it. We need everybody out there. Bring your lawn chairs, bring your family. It's such a fun event to watch. Such a fun parade. Does it start at 10 a.m. Saturday. Yep, 10 a.m. on the downtown 4th Street Parade route. We have 93 entries this year, so it's going to be an awesome parade. And the really cool thing about this parade for high schools, we realize that it's the end of the year, right? Kids have put up their uniforms and their instruments, and they're just ready to be done. We are the only parade that you don't have to pay a fee to enter the parade, which is awesome, because the Centennial Commission funds the entire parade, and that funding comes through the Welcome to Las Vegas centennial sign. So when you are buying license plates, buy the centennial plate because that goes to keeping historic events and projects alive and well in our community. Including Hell Dorado. Including Hell Dorado. Essa Rinke is with us from City of Las Vegas. We're talking about Hell Dorado, which is coming up next weekend. We're only six days in front of the parade. Is it too late for somebody to actually get involved as a participant? <laughs> Here's the deal. I have said for 15 years, this is a community event. The only event that the community really hangs their hats on. No pun intended, cowboy hats and yes, boots. of course. So, yes, as much as we try to have our announcer scripts done in the parade lineup, done. If you've got a great entry and you really want to participate, just call the office and we'll try to get you in. You'll probably be at the very end of the line. But again, we want everybody to participate in this parade. We have a hard time saying no. Being at the end of the parade is not so bad. You notice in the holiday parade, Santa is always at the end. Absolutely. Best for last, right? Yeah, think yeah. about it that way. Yeah. I just am amazed because I know other parade organizers who go, are you kidding? Six days out. You can't get involved. It sounds like you're just going to make room for everybody. You it know, is a true community event. It is. That's why it was so important back then for Mayor Oscar to bring it back. It's just been such an important element of our community. We need people to come out and support it. We're such a transitional city here. People don't stay long enough to really grab onto that history 
that we have here. So that's another reason we need to keep it going. We need people to come out and watch it. We want it to be the biggest parade in the state of Nevada, and we need to keep it going. This is what is so cool about this year's Hell Dorado. It is two days of lots of stuff going on. Lots of fun. Friday, you said 5 p.m. This is the rodeo. At the new Core Arena. Everything is right downtown again. Uh As it should be. We bring it back downtown. That's right. Saturday morning at 10, the Heldorado Parade. And again, 5 p.m. on Saturday, May 11th, day two of the rodeo, also at Core Arena at Plaza. Everything's free. Everything is free. It's so cool. Oh, I wanted to share this. The high schools, they're done. We offer the high school marching bands if they participate. They do a lot of fundraising. Right. So we give them $1,000 to come down and participate. And then if they have built a float, We give them a little more money if they've built a float and entered it. So it's really cool for the high schools in our community to participate in Helderado. And we get some really cool floats out of it. Some really unique, fun things. The students get really involved in it. They want that money because it goes towards next year's activities. That's another fun thing that we do with the high schools to get them out to Helderado. Esther, this is just getting better and better because everything's been free. And now you're telling me high school marching Free and money. And high school floats. (laughs) Not only do they get to do it for free, we will give you money for being part of it. Yeah, it's a great program. It's also a great way to involve young people in our community and make sure that they're a part of this ongoing because Hull Dorado should go on forever. forever. I agree. Yes, it's a great event. Where would we go to get information about what's happening with Hell Dorado? So there's information on the city's website. It's lasvegasnevada.gov and just search for Hell Dorado and there is information about the parade on the website. But again, Saturday, May 11th, 10 a.m. and we start right at 10 a.m. We're anticipating about a two-hour parade, so make sure you're down there at the very beginning. We've got Elvis with his pink Cadillac because <laughs> Elvis lives. We all yes, know that. Of course, he hangs out here. <laughs> yeah, and our Honor Guard and Big Red, they kick off the parade and then just a lot of really cool entries this year. I'll have the link and all the information on the Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with a podcast of our discussion yes. today. It's Hell Dorado. It's next weekend. Two days of great events. Downtown Las Vegas, historically, that's where it has been. That's where it should be. That's where it shall continue. Here's another cool thing about it. It's happening Friday and Saturday, next weekend. So we're close enough. We can look at the weather forecast and see how great the weather is going to be. Yes. If you're kind of on the fence deciding, am I going to be part of it? Well, we could get our school involved in it still. Kids have wonderful energy. We could pull this off. We could get donations for the marching band. We could do all of this. You're not so far out that you go, I wonder what the weather is going to be. Because at this point, we kind of know. It's going to be great. Yes. So it's next Friday and Saturday, May 10th and 11th, rodeo in the open air new core arena at Plaza Hotel and Casino. Such a cool arena. They did a great job. Right there in downtown. All free. Here's the fun thing that people don't know. You don't have to be a cowboy to go to a rodeo. You don't have to wear cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. Flip flops. We're in Las Vegas. Yes. Anything. (laughs) Just come. The Core Arena is just south of the Plaza. It's right on Main Street. So people can come down, go to the parade, hang out. There's so many great restaurants and things to do at the Fremont Street Experience and Fremont East and even Main Street. Main Street is a whole new cool area. Oh, by the way, there's an Esther's Kitchen. Not mine, but there is an Esther's Kitchen down there. Fabulous food. So people can like make a whole day out of it. Come down, go to the parade, experience what downtown has to offer, all of the hotel and casinos down there. If you're not into that, there's still a lot of great restaurants, things to do on Main Street, and then head on over to the rodeo and you've got a fun-filled day. All family friendly. I'm thinking about where you're describing the Core Arena. I know exactly where that is because I remember a big open area looking from the Golden Nugget and their garage off toward the plaza and I do remember seeing a big open space and I bet you that's where they they put it. They built an arena right there. If people know where City Hall is downtown Las Vegas right on Main and Clark the arena is right across the street from us. It's awesome. Free to go to the rodeos. Yes. Free parade. Free to enter in the parade. Schools getting involved maybe with a float, marching band. Got some some really cool car clubs, other floats, equestrian groups. We have an equestrian group with acrobat. We don't know if it's people jumping from horse a horse and doing flips or I don't know come see it's something that I know I can't do but I really (laughs) like watching that's why it's going to be such a draw (laughs) 
We just don't know. We get all the cool entries in and just can't wait to see what they really look like. Well, it's coming up next weekend. It's El Dorado. It really is fun, and I can't believe it. It is more free than it has ever been <laughs> because it yeah, used it to is. cost you a little bit of money. Yeah, the rodeo was a ticketed event in the past, and this year, again, the plaza just really wants to get people downtown to their new arena, get used to where it's at, and that's how they're rolling this year. Great for the community. Yes. Next weekend, Esther Rinke, you know we always ask as part of Talking Solutions, what can we do to help you? You need to get people out downtown Saturday, May 11th, lining 4th Street from Hoover all the way past the Fremont Street Experience on 4th Street. Come out, line the parade route, show your support, help us keep this awesome event going. Get down there and have a good time. Absolutely. Bring your lawn chairs, bring munchies for the kids, bring your bottles of water, bring shade if we're going to have some nice sunshine that day. Watch the weather, but just come out, bring your lawn chairs, have fun. Line the parade route. It's going to be a great time. And free for the rodeo and everything. You know we're going to have all the information on the Talking Solutions Facebook page, along with the podcast for our discussion today. Thank you. Esther, am I forgetting anything? No, that covers everything. The rodeo, the two nights, the parade, Saturday, May 11th, just support. We need the community's support. I just love free. I can't get over that. The Even best. the rodeo is free. The best. The rodeo, Friday evening, Saturday evening, and smack dab in the middle. The Hell Dorado Parade, and it's all free. Absolutely. Because you're Las Vegans, and you deserve to have fun for free. Absolutely. Esther Ranke, Hell Dorado is going to be so great this year. Thank you so much for coming in to join us today Thank on Talking you. Solutions. Thank you again for having me.